Grace Keeley and Trey Byers met on the set of Empire. Not long after, they realized they had a deep spiritual connection, and we have all the juicy details about their fairy tale romance. This is a story about how two people from two very different walks of life found love with one another. But before we jump into this mushy-gushy love story, be sure to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, strawberry cheesecake popcorn, and gummy sour bears. Of course, this love story wouldn't be complete without a trip down memory lane. Grace Geely was born on July 26, 1984, in Pennsylvania. As an infant, her family moved to the Cayman Islands, where Grace was raised by her deaf parents. She told the TV show The Doctors that her father was born completely deaf, while her mother lost hearing around the age of two after battling pneumonia. Because of her parents' disabilities, Grace learned how to communicate with sign language before she was able to speak. While in school, kids teased her about the sound of her mom's voice. Grace told People magazine that the criticism and taunting made it hard for her to fit in at school. This made her become a people pleaser because she wanted to be included and feel validated. Eventually, she took things out on her mom. Grace said, I remember being very angry with my mother and wanting her to not sign so largely in public or when she spoke, not to make so much noise because she sounded differently from everybody else. Her mom had to check her and told her, no, this is who I am and I can't change that and people are going to have to accept that. Grace said her mom's amazing spirit inspired her to be a stronger person. Seeing how the disabled are treated in the world also instilled within her an overwhelming sense of compassion, grace, and patience for others. She earned her bachelor's degree in theater arts before obtaining her Master of Fine Arts in acting. Despite being a trained actress, she found it difficult to break into the industry. She worked a bunch of different side jobs and was living paycheck to paycheck. She moved to New York and appeared in some plays, and in her late 20s, she was involved in a head-on collision that almost ended her life. Grace told Essence magazine she split her forehead down to the skull and received 15 stitches. She was bedridden for weeks and was covered in bruises. She couldn't work, she couldn't go out on auditions, and she barely had enough strength to leave the house. During that time, she went within and dealt with the inner struggle she had been battling since childhood. She learned how to value herself, and she finally realized that she was good enough and didn't need acceptance from anyone. She also made a full recovery, but in 2014, as her acting opportunities were pretty much non-existent, she told Elle magazine that she quit the entertainment business and set up her own company to provide interpreter services. And it's funny how life works, because as soon as she threw in the towel, she received a call from Empire, and her life would never be the same. Meanwhile, Trey Byers was born in Kansas City on July 19, 1983. As a military child, he and his family traveled to different military bases across the globe. He went to three different high schools, which made it hard for him to make and keep friends. It also didn't help that he was extremely shy. While in high school, he auditioned for the role of Antoine Fisher. The part went to actor Derek Luke instead, but Trey still wanted to move out to Hollywood to pursue his dream of working in the entertainment industry. However, his mom asked him to go to college for at least two years for her. So after graduating from a Georgia high school, he gave his mom way more than the two years she requested. He attended Andrew College, a religious two-year institution where he received an associate's degree in theater. He then attended Prairie View A&M for a year after transferring to the University of Kansas, where he obtained his bachelor's in communications. From there, he was accepted to Yale School of Drama and earned a master's degree in acting. He then appeared in soap operas and as an extra in films. He was fresh out of a long-term relationship when he got cast as Andre on Empire. During an appearance at the Merge Summit, Trey explained that, after filming the pilot episode, his co-star, Terrence Howard, had a birthday party and invited the entire cast. They were all sitting at a table in a private room when Trey felt someone looking at him. He looked up, and it was Grace. In an interview, Trey said, well, For whatever reason, time stopped. Wow. And I've been sitting there ever since. He couldn't comprehend what was happening when their eyes met, but he added, I like to say it was love at soul sight. He told Essence that he watched her dance later in the evening and yearned to be the man that was dancing next to her. After the party, they all went their separate ways to await the news on whether or not the pilot had gotten picked up by Fox Network. Everyone kept in touch, including Trey and Grace. 
As his feelings for her grew stronger and stronger, he turned to God for guidance. Empire made its primetime debut in January 2015. It became the hottest show on television. While in each other's presence, Trey said he knew that God brought them together again, and he was officially in love. But wait, there was only one itsy-bitsy problem. Grace was in a relationship with someone else. During their appearance at the Merch Summit, Grace said she wasn't even attracted to Trey at first. Since she was in a relationship, she had her blinders on and was solely focused on her boyfriend. But she did admit that there was something there between her and Trey, and she went on to describe their first encounter as love at first spirit. However, she didn't pursue anything with him, and she continued on with her relationship. On an episode of The Real, Grace explained how she was ready to marry her boyfriend, even though they didn't have a spiritual connection. In other words, she was going to settle because they had been together for so long, and she was comfortable with him. But there was something about Trey that she just couldn't ignore. She even spoke to her friend about the strange connection she had with Trey. Eventually, she told her friend, I feel like he's the one. She took her time sorting through her feelings and eventually broke up with her boyfriend. The same week she ended things with her boyfriend, Trey woke up in the middle of the night and heard God tell him that Grace was his wife. In March 2015, TMZ speculated that Grace and Trey were hooking up after they were spotted looking very cozy at a wedding reception. That same month, Us Weekly confirmed that they were an item. As they got to know each other more, Trey fell in love with everything about her. During an Instagram Live session, Trey said he always saw a light radiating from within her. He also loved how she went after her goals and always got things done. He vibed with her energy and the way she loved and had compassion for others. As for Grace, she stated that out of all of her relationships, theirs was the one she had the most trust in. She added that she trusts him more than anyone in the world. Trey agreed, but also admitted that it was an ongoing process, and they had an open line of responsible communication where they can make their own rules and define their personal boundaries. After about four months of dating, Trey had seen enough, and he was ready to take things to the next level. On her 31st birthday, they went on a horse and carriage ride, and Trey proposed to her right then and there. Of course, she said yes. In April 2016, they jetted off to the Cayman Islands and tied the knot in front of 50 of their closest family members and friends. After a few months of wedded bliss, Trey told Harry TV that married life was awesome, and while appearing on The Rachel Ray Show, he discussed how proud he felt when Grace decided to take his last name professionally as a way to honor him. By their two-year wedding anniversary, Trey was even more in love. In an Instagram post, he wrote that two years felt more like two seconds. He added, I'm caught in your love and I'll never ever leave. Grace's character was written out of Empire in season four, and the show was eventually canceled in 2020 after six seasons. As for Grace and Trey, their love continued on. Grace has credited Trey for being her best friend, her support system, and she's grateful that he reminds her every day that she's good enough exactly the way that she is. In October 2022, at the opening night of Trey's Broadway play, The Piano Lesson, Grace debuted her adorable baby bump. This will be the couple's first child, and we wish them and their family nothing but the best. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below, and thanks for watching RRG.